how to dress to attract a man a tutorial rule number one make sure your hair is always long and lustrous and never put up rule number two make sure to show a little skin especially those stems ladies rule number three footwear should be dainty and delicate Rule number four, show off that waist at all times. Rule number five, always have a pleasant expression on your face. I promise you will attract a man. Are you talking about Marie Antoinette? Yeah. I heard a thing or two about her. Is, is a seat taken? No, it's not really a seat, but here. okay. I'm Paul and Chris. I'm Selena Spooky Boo, and today we are at the Comedy Store in Hollywood. The Comedy Store is the greatest stand-up comedy club in the world. The store was founded April 7, 1972 on the Sunset Strip in West Hollywood. Long before this was the comedy club, it was a mob hangout called Zeros. There was gambling, bootlegging, torture, murder, and illegal abortions, among many other horrible things. <laughs> It was four hard knocks. Like, turn that light off for us just to confirm it, or if you're somebody else. Okay. Hello, guys. I do this a lot, and I don't like that feeling. Oh my god. Right beside you, there's somebody standing right beside you. I'm not okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey, are you okay? Can you hold the elevator? Damn it. Close, 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 close. I'm coming. Come on, close, you piece of shit. Woo! Made it. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's no problem. Great, alone in the elevator with a man, and my phone's dead so I can't even look at it. Oh my god, did he just check me out? I mean, he's kind of cute, I guess. Oh my god, what if we got stuck in the elevator and we talked for hours and we fell in love? <laughs> oh wait, what if this is like a Ted Bundy situation and he's super cute and charming at the start but then takes me back to my hotel room and has his way with me and then takes my head as a souvenir? Oh my god, he's not checking me out, he's sizing up his next victim! I have to fart so bad. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool. Okay, let's just look at our self-defense save TikToks on our phone, okay? F it's dead. Hold it in, buddy. What the f was that piece? Oh, I'm done for. Of course this would happen to me. I can't just have a nice meet and cute. I gotta get stuck in the elevator with a guy that's gonna eat me out Jeffrey Dahmer style. Maybe if I just let it out in little increments. Oh, and I had half a cake left in the fridge. This is the worst day ever. Nope, almost shit myself. Oh, thank God, it's almost at my floor. Okay, get ready. Just a couple more floors, big boy. <laughs> Hold the elevator for me, Sonny. Oh, shit. Close, 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 close. Sorry I'm late to the party. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries. Come on in. Who is that woman? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Where is everybody? Mom! Oh, hey! Mom! Where is she? Mom! What? Riley, have you seen your mom yet? No! Where is she? should be here by now. Maybe let's ask this extremely attractive woman. Da! Miss, do you know the location of our other mother? Uh, are you guys serious right now? Mom? <laughs> Riley, that is not your mother. <coughs> Holy shit! What do you mean? I am not going to lie, I did not recognize you. Yeah, you look stunning! I did not realize she had this much potential. Duh, it's like she leveled up to an upgraded skin. Duh, reconfirming my suspicions we are living in the simulation. Hey, beautiful, I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Ew, Chad! Janet! Hold it, did you change your... everything? You all suck. I'm gonna go talk to your mother. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the hell are you doing telling people that we're a gay couple? Oh, heard that through the grapevine, did you? So nothing bad happened? Mm-mm. You, you didn't wreck it? Mm-mm. You didn't hit anybody? Mm-mm. You didn't run anybody over? Mm-mm. You didn't get a speeding ticket? Mm-mm. Wait, Jeffy? Mm -mm. Why are you making that face? Mm -mm. Jeffy, did you get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Jeffy? All right, we're here. Who's ready to hike? Oh, man, these trees are just gorgeous. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Parkour! <laughs> we should do this more often. Why don't we do this more often? I, I, I don't we know. We gotta do this more often. I just feel so connected out here, you know? 
Do you feel connected? Yeah. I feel connected. How you doing? I'm good. I can go for like, like four more hours. Easy. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. She's gonna take a quick water break. She's a quick water break. She's gonna take a quick water break. Oh, oh, What's oh, wrong? Oh, oh, I tore my ACL. Right now? In middle school. It's just acting up. God damn it. I think we missed a turn. No, we didn't miss a turn. I know exactly where we're going, okay? You don't need to question me. I've walked this a million times. Didn't already pass this tree? Oh god. I think we're lost. Yeah, that's what I just said. Shh. Do you hear that? What? Is that a bear? What if we do if there's a bear? I, I'll Google it. I'll Google it. There's no service! Good job getting us lost. You know what? If that is a bear, all I have to do is outrun your swollen feet, okay? I'm pregnant. Yeah, and whose fault is that? Oh, honey, look, it's a fin dive. That's fun. I've never heard of that before. I didn't realize that that was here. Hey, honey, honey, we need sunscreen. We need sunscreen. We need to reapply. It's only, it's been 30 minutes. Oh, what is that one? Is that oh, bavug? Bavug? Oh, oh. I don't, oh, dear. I, I don't know. If you can't pronounce it, you can't afford it. Hey, hey! Sunscreen time! Sunscreen time! Oh, honey, it's gutchy. Oh, that's interesting. It kind of sounds like a another word for a vagina. Well, it's Yaga. What the hell is that, sweetie? I think it's a type of fitness class. Oh, I ain't signing up for that boy shit. Oh, honey, I got a lot of swass building up. I got a blot. Oh, look, it's a Prada. I've never seen that before in real life. That's... That's nice. So when do you think this thing starts, huh? I don't know, but do you think I need to reapply? Oh, Versace. That sounds like a type of pasta. Is that a type of pasta? Let's take a photo. <laughs> My hat's <in> away. <laughs> okay, everybody's been using this filter, and I need to see what I look like <laughs> when I'm old. Okay. I get it, fine. You're all without fathers, all right? I, I'm I, I... not. I love my dad. Hey, uh, could you pass me a banana? Hey, my banana. Why do you have to do that? My banana. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. Be like what? We're all grown up now. We can just talk to each other and be mature about it. We're, we're be grown ups about it. You know, we could we could stop with all the childish antics and just get along and not just waste time doing stuff that we did when we were kids. We could we could actually have a relationship now. You could you could hand me that banana with without saying anything in retaliation. Just here is the banana. You know. Okay. Okay. Here is your banana. Thank you. Season this nice? Season this nice. Okay. I didn't wash my hands after I peed, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> you look like you belong in a one hit wonder Y2K boy band, by the way. At least I don't look like you. And he said, yeah. Douche nozzle. Yeah, so this is the house. It's great. Then, oh, this is Kevin. Oh. Yes, my name is Kevin. I'm four years old, and I'm a super good boy that likes getting pats on the head. <laughs> What? What do you mean? What? What was that? What? What just happened? Ah, oh, Kevin's just just talking to you. <laughs> what? No, cause I'm a super good boy and I really like talking and chasing balls around the house among other things. <laughs> what? Stop doing that. This is just Kevin's voice. Dogs don't talk. Kevin does. No, he doesn't. He's a dog. You know. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. What the third problem? I don't know. Peter, the horse is here. Okay, so your friends are Stefan and Steven? Yeah. So my gay friends Steven and Stefan are in town, and I figured I'd introduce them to Chad because I need a little free entertainment because watching Chad interact with two gay men is single-handedly the funniest thing I have ever witnessed. Chad, this is Steven. Hold on. Absolute pleasure, darling. And his boyfriend, Stefan? Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, super cool. Ah, uh, so you two, you two are together. Yes. Yep. And that's awesome. That's aw congratulations. That's stellar. Thank I'm you. Super nice stoked for you. I'm here for it, and I'm queer for it. Is is that? 
You know when you're watching a toddler skate for the first time and he just keeps falling over and you should probably help him, but it's kind of funny just to watch him fall? Jazzy toddler. And I think it's great that you're riding that gay train, guys, because I'm in that caboose, you know, just pumping my fist in full support of your gay train ride. <laughs> All right, then. Not that I want to ride your train or in your train. Um, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> I'm just shoveling coal in the back into the engines of your love, you know? I just want you to know that. So. <laughs> I think Chad might be a little gay. Definitely gay. Hey guys! Hey! I got a new outfit and I just, does it look okay? I'm not sure, like, I think it's cute though, right? Couldn't you decide on just one color? Girl, that face with that suit. Okay, um... You look great, Billy Blue Dean. <laughs> okay, okay, um... Oh, yeah. Is this what you wear to slop the hogs with? <laughs> I'm gonna change. <laughs> okay, I have a huge announcement, and I know I kind of keep you guys in the dark with my personal life, but I'm I'm having a baby, <laughs> and I'm so excited. It, no. I, I'm having a baby. It's, but it's mine, too. It's my, I'm gonna be an auntie. It's about me. Anyway, um... Hey, you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the evil bin. Sick. <sighs> what you added? Uh, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Are you a valet at a Best Western? What? No! A two-star restaurant DJ. A <sighs> couple years ago, but no! You seriously don't know what I'm doing? Oh, oh, I know you work at Subway. No. Oh, now I'm craving a tuna melt. I'm going golfing. Oh, never would have guessed that. What did you think this giant bag of clubs was for? I figured someone owed you money. What does that even mean? Yeah, I carry around a bat for the same reason. Whoa, whoa, okay, relax, lady. I never tell a woman to relax, especially when she's wielding a bat. Okay, jeez, take my money, okay? I'm leaving. I'll get another ride. But gotta take this out more often. So what do you guys do for fun around here? I don't know, sometimes we throw shit at Kevin. Who's Kevin? KEVIN! This is how I believe Australian conversations go. Oi, where's Dad? Oh, he's on Chad's dick. He's on his dick? Yeah, mate, why? What about Mum? What about Mum? Well, where is she? Well, Dad's on somebody else's dick. What do you mean, mate? Mum's out on Chad's dick too. What do you mean? Yeah, mate, I was thinking about hopping on Chad's dick too. Oh, fuck me, I need a beer. I have a little story time for you guys, a little cringy story time about how I am in the wild interacting with people. So I go to Starbucks and uh, the girl that hands me the drink is very cute. I get a little flustered, but she gives me a compliment, which was her first mistake. And she says, oh my gosh, I love your headscarf. It's so cute. And I said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days. I didn't say, oh, thank you. I'm actually wearing it because I haven't washed my hair. I just said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days, period. Full send myself off a bridge. And then she said, okay. And then I, I followed that up by saying, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> and then she said, oh. And then I just piled on that and said, but yours isn't. And I meant, to, like, your hair isn't greasy. And that's just, the compliment would have been, your hair looks nice. But I just basically said, your hair doesn't look like a bag of shit. Um, so I am going to be single for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to stop interacting with human beings. All right? Oh, no. Are they going to take the drugs to hide it from the cops? I don't know. What are drugs? They turn your brain into mush. But they make trees look really cool. Really? No, stop. Oh my god, are they gonna put the drugs up their ass? I don't know. What's an ass? It's a donkey, Riley. They're gonna put drugs in a donkey? No, it's another word for your butt. What is? Ass. Can you not? So a donkey is a butt? No, ass means donkey and butt, and butt means ass.
But exactly. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gone. What's that per donkey? Close enough. Hey, there's some pizza downstairs. What? What is it? Is it the pants? Is it the... I know it's bulging a little bit here, but is it... Is it do you like the pattern? I just got them. You don't... Is it the shirt? Is it... I tied it in the back. I thought that was okay. Is it... It's too Y2K, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And these, these jeans aren't doing my ass any favors. I know. I know. My ass isn't that flat, is it? No. You think it is? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should, should I change? Should I change? This is dumb. This is a dumb outfit. I'm, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. I should, should I change? Should I change? Okay. Yeah. I'll change. Okay. Everybody's doing it, so I might as well. well on my red flags. we no, they're not. They're cute. Who doesn't? Yeah. Why is that bad? I'm a busy person. Fuck you. You good? What? Oh, no. I was just thinking how easy it would be to cut the tip of my nose off. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? I don't know. Intrusive thought. Oh, okay. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, with pretty much everything and anything. Really? Everything? Okay, what about that sink? Put your hand in the garburetor and flip the switch. Okay, uh, what about the water bottle? Oh, that's easy. While you're drinking it, I just punch it into your mouth. Okay, uh, what about the countertop? Oh, come on. You walk, you trip, you bust all your teeth out on the corner of the counter. The cup. <laughs> Drop it on my toe, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, here's a hard one. A pillow. Oh, please. Two words. Suffocation device. Wow, okay. So you have these thoughts like every day? Yeah. And you want to do them? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. But you think about wanting to do them and it happening. Exactly. Are you okay? No. No. Oh, yeah, and I was just like, excuse me? Oh my goodness. What? You totally looked and sounded like mom when you told that story. Oh, no, I did not. You're doing it again? Oh, goodness gracious. You... <sighs> okay, what do you think of this new little sculpture I got? It's kind of funky. <gasps> <gasps> what do you think about that one? It's pretty nifty. Oh, oh my God. Hey, don't you go using the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Hokey Dinah. Hi guys, so I know most of you know that I've been struggling with recovery and mental health a lot lately. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I just do for me that really help ground me and make me feel good about myself. So come with me to see what I do before I start work. First, I make my third cup of coffee of the day. Don't worry, this one was decaffeinated, I just lied. Then I look in the mirror and do my morning affirmations. You are not a piece of shit. This was supposed to be a joke, but that actually kind of felt good. I highly recommend. I wanted to make and eat one of my fear foods, if you will, on my own. But then I went to my pantry and realized I didn't have any syrup, which I think is punishable by death in Canada. So I ordered IHOP instead. And this is something I actually loathe doing, but I'm going to make my bed. I heard somewhere, like, if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind or some bullshit like that. And not going to lie, it, it actually kind of works. It makes me feel more at peace. Who's your daddy? Cue two camera angle transition moment. Wow. Slay. And it's still early, so I decided to paint a little and put my coffee down and forget about it and need to microwave it later. Painting is something that's always been really therapeutic to me and I can kind of just turn my brain off, which is really nice. And I listen to like really nice, calm music while I do it too. Now it's time to feed the chickens. I got watermelon that's kind of going bad in my fridge, so I'm gonna go feed the ladies. Anything to do with animals, whether it's Kevin or my chickens or whatever, just always makes me feel better like no matter what and i love just being outside in general but caring for these little ladies is a bonus for sure i forgot the watermelon was bad but anyway i hope you enjoyed my little self-care video i know it's not my usual content but i challenge you to do a little something for yourself today too okay bye beautiful shit 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 okay well that's interesting you know why why because hey guys so i'm really upset um I got my hair done. It's short. It's the shortest it's ever been, um, which I'm not upset about that. I, I love the hair. I just forgot to make a really cool transition video. So I'm just going to give you a really, this is, this is my hair. This is my, it's a proper pixie. I'll show you the sides. Very aerodynamic. Feeling good. 
show you the back. Don't even gotta pay for it. It's nice, isn't it? It's low maintenance. Not a lot of mileage. It's like selling a car. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I like my hair. That's it. If you're single and want love in your life, break up with your imaginary partners. <laughs> so many people said me this. <laughs> No. Oh, me when you're me me when me when I me, me when you're when I when I when your mom sees me when I see your mom me when me when your mom comes to my house. I'm about to take a walk in New York, and I'm gonna narrate some pigeons. All right. Hey, how you doing, beautiful? I haven't seen you around here. You need somebody to show you around Central Park? Are those feathers real? Come on, give me a smile. Give me a smile. Would you f*** off? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't need that kind of talk around here, all right? I can find a lady anytime, anywhere I want, all right? Your wife's got a nice beak. Are you talking about my wife, motherfucker? No, get back here. Get back here. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah, whatever, talk to you for a second. It's not worth it, Angelo. No, no, he's not gonna get away with this. Get back here. Can we just drop it? Yeah, yeah. When you're done with your husband, I'll meet you over at the Euro stand. I'm out. I'll deal with this guy, boys. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you pushing up on us, all right? All right? F*** you. We don't got to deal with you. You know who we are? You don't even want to know who we are. I got a buddy up the block who knows a guy who will break your f***ing kneecap, so don't mess with us, all right? Watch your back, buddy. Name an animal or you get hit. Hey, elephant. Elephant? You have to give me a letter. Don't get me too hard. I'll give you two seconds to guess, all right? Okay. L. Llama. Do it again, do it again. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. S. Snake. Again. R. Raccoon. P. Pineapple. That's not an animal. That's a fruit. Thank you. Uh, it's N E one four A B J. Let's hear it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The owner of the car registration N E one four A B J. Am I fucking dumb? What is it saying? Anyone for a B J? Anyone for a B J? Oh. <laughs> I see, I'd be the girl on the mic. N E one for a BJ. Just don't even know. Please come up to my desk and anyone for a BJ. Thank you. You have a long line. Yeah, I would. How good your customer service that day? Probably would get a one star, to be honest. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Adults Where are your when kids approach them. I don't know, but kids make me uncomfortable, man. They're too open. Last time I saw a kid, he came up, he said, hi, are you 47? And I said, no, actually, I'm not. And he went, you're fat. And then he walked away. It's okay, one came up to me and asked me if I was Justin Bieber recently. Can you imagine that? Are you me? Alan? <laughs> hi, I'm Alan. Don't cancel me. All right. Hey, it's a cool sweater. I like it. Listen, I don't need your passive aggressive attitude. I'm being serious. I like your sweater. What? The design is really cool. Actually? Yeah. Really? Really. Why are you being so weird about it? I'm not. I'm just I just really appreciate you. Because usually you dress like a single 75-year-old boomer who lives alone with her 12 cats. Who exclusively shops at Macy's or Walmart. The prices are very reasonable. Or an organic gluten-free thrift store that doubles as a matcha cafe. What does that even mean? And also, is that a real place? So you think you're all cool now because you have a nice sweater? No, I just... Because you're I... not. You're still weird as fuck and you look like the bottom of a lumberjack's foot. And you know what else I have to say? Is that you are So, Amanda, why do you want this job? Um, you know, at the end of the day, I just need money. Okay, um, are you passionate about this job at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to be a receptionist. receptionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so what have you done for work in the past? I used to be an Uber driver, yeah. Big people person, a lot of five-star reviews. Oh, nice. And why did you stop doing that? I got bummed for forcing people to give me five-star reviews. Okay. Um, do you have any weaknesses? Um, I know I look like a supermodel athlete, Kay, but I have a really hard time lifting heavy furniture, and every time I walk up a staircase, I sound like an asthmatic Darth Vader. Yeah, I don't mean physically, I mean... In general. Oh, um, I'm not that good at reading people. Oh, really? 
that's hard to believe. Thank you for your sympathies. It's an everyday struggle. Shame. Shame. Uh, besides money, why, why do you want this job? To be honest, I was sitting across the street at a cafe and I saw a lot of fit men walking in and out of here. This is a marriage counseling office. And? We're, we're trying to get people back together. And if they don't, who's going to be here like Shaquille O'Neal ready for the rebound? Me. Put that down as a strength. So, what do you think? Chris, did you hear me? I hear you. Okay. What are you staring at? Nothing, man. I'm just stuck. What do you mean you're stuck? Can't look away. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I'm in a dissociative state of nirvana right now. What the? Just stop staring. I can't just stop, man. It's not that simple. You gotta let it run its course. Wait, no, you don't. Yes, I do. It feels too good. What are you talking about? Just look away. It feels like both my eyeballs are sitting in hammocks made of pillowy clouds injected with ecstasy, surrounded by the sound of children's laughter, all while being held by the sweet embrace of a lover I thought I had previously lost. The f is that supposed to mean? It means I can't f look away. Oh my god. Phew. Okay. Too Prom much. Three. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. Okay, I'll do it too. Chad, what's up? We need to get some stuff to set up for Katrina's new at-home office. Can you come shopping with us? We don't know enough about tech stuff. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. You live in our basement for free. It wasn't a question. Well, that's fair. What do you even do for a job, Katrina? None of your business. Okay, but they're letting us work hybrid now, so I need to make homey office at home. Okay, yeah, um, let's go to Staples Canada then. All right, we'll probably have to go to some other stores too though, right? No, you can get all the things you need to work from Staples Canada. Ergonomic chairs, sit-stand desks, all the technology, paper, pens, Staples. Okay, but I don't think you can get chairs from Staples. Like this gray matter ergocentric chair? Staples. But you can't get the computer back. Like this solo hybrid briefcase backpack? Staples. Okay, but not a whiteboard. Gray matter dry erase and bulging board combo? Staples. Fine. Let's go to Staples Canada. Sorry, what's that? I couldn't hear you from my noise-canceling buzz headphones from Staples. You're pushing it. All right. This turned out great. Looks great. Thanks for your help, Chad. <laughs> no problem. I take tips, you know. <laughs> I'll be in my rent-free basement that I'm super thankful for. Thank you. Everybody's at Coachella while we're at Couchella, but we're going to judge their outfits because there's nothing better to do and I have no fashion sense. Let's go. Okay, first up, we got Dixie D'Amaleo. Uh, it looks like she borrowed Justin Bieber shorts, and the top is cute. We got Charlie D'Amaleo. This looks like an outfit I would have seen in a magazine in grade six and really wanted. Um, she's working it, though. Haley Beaver giving us an absolute 2% max effort with this Lifestealer wife beater she's wearing and these pants that she probably raided from her husband's closet or her grandpa's. I can't tell. Bretman Rock looks like he bought an outfit for Coachella and then put it in the dryer for a little too long and somehow did the opposite process with the boots, but it's still cute. He's still slay. Harry Styles cosplayed as Animal from the Muppets, which is cool. If I had a quarter for every time Harry Styles did not wear a shirt under his outfit, I would probably have enough quarters to make this current outfit. Lizzo absolutely slaying in this bubblegum realness. She ate all the crumbs. I would give her my firstborn child for these pants and just for her in general. This looks like a sold separately outfit you would have to pay extra money for for your Barbie doll. Rosalia absolutely looking fire in this flowy outfit, and it's cool that she actually performed after getting LASIK surgery. Apparently this is Amanda Steele. I don't know her, but if there's ever a shoelace shortage, I know who'll be stealing all the laces. Um, this woman is perfect, and she cannot do any wrong. I am here with Ryan, Daniel, Mike, and the second best Chad. It's true. <laughs> you can come see me interview them on Monday on CBC Music's TikTok. I am scared. I've been paying really close attention to Bill C-11, aka the Online Streaming Act. It's something my fellow Canadian creators should be paying attention to, and all the viewers as well. Bill C-11 was supposed to be promoting Canadian storytelling online. In reality, the bill has ended up so broadly worded that it lets the CRTC interfere with every part of your online life. 
That includes manipulating your feeds and search results, requiring you to provide proof of your age to access platforms like Reddit and Twitter, and controlling your favorite YouTube channels, TikToks, and other streaming services, and even your own uploads. Earlier this month, the Canadian Senate passed Bill C-11 with a helpful amendment that better protects Canadian creators. But on March 7th, the government gave notice that it would reject this amendment that would protect digital creators. This is terrifying and honestly wild for the government to just ignore digital creators and its viewers. Luckily, there is still time to make an impact. I will put a link for you to click on to send in an already written letter to your local MP. Thank you so much for listening and hashtag fix Bill C-11. It's oh my God, I almost died. No. I almost died, that was so scary, thank you. It's okay, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, this is how men see me. see me <laughs> I'm a hot mess mate this is why I'm single how my friends see me <laughs> hi hi come to this place often sometimes What are you doing there? It's trimming my bush. Just, I like to keep it tidy. <laughs> this is my bathroom. Just in here. It's, uh, it's, what the, f what are you doing? Mind your damn Why business. Why are you sitting on it backwards? Mind your damn business. I don't even know. You shouldn't like you leave. Okay, I'm moving out. Hey. Hey. Is your name Jean? Cause you're wearing them. I am. Did you use your echolocation to find me or the smell of my musk? It was smell. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Don't mind me, I'm just a whisper in the wind. Okay. You want me to push you? I'd love that. Cause your beauty's been pushing me over the edge. I, I, you're strong, <laughs> damn. Yeah, I like when you slam back. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. These woods? It's a playground. I like how it smells here. <laughs> you should slide down this slide like you slid into my DMs. Watch me. Oh, uh, slower. Uh. Like that? Get a step. We need to lube it up. Come sit with me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That fits good. <laughs> we are ghost hunting at the one of a kind antique mall, Canada's largest antique mall, eighty thousand square feet. It's huge. By my guy, there's an office over here. So we might like. Okay. <laughs> they want us to do the Estes. Get him. No, I didn't mean to disrespect. I'll show you. Uh oh. Yeah, right? I'm so scared of you! Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm one of those people that just like to like learn things randomly, um, like I'm relearning guitar and I'm learning ASL right now because I think that that's important um, and really interesting. So uh, here's like a little, a little tidbit of what I've learned so far. All right, here we go. Hey dad, I'm gonna go hang out with some friends. I love you and I'll see you when I get back. All right, sweetie, have a good time. I love you. See you, dad. I'm going to hang out with friends. Hey, turn the music down, okay? You're gonna bust your eardrums. But what the, what was that you're listening to? Is that Ride the Lightning by Metallica? Yeah, so? I don't need the attitude, okay? I really love that album. It's a good album. You like, you like that kind of music, hey? Yeah, whatever. All right, geez, I'm just saying, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty nifty. That's, have fun with your friends. Okay, bye.
I'm mentally ill and don't know how to show affection. Oh my gosh, I just had the most intrusive thought. Oh, I get those all the time. What was yours? <laughs> I just imagine trying to shove this entire muffin into my mouth at once. <laughs> oh, that's that's not really an, an intrusive thought. That's more of an impulsive thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. An intrusive thought would be, I want to shove your muffin down your throat like it's a tube sock and a vacuum pipe. <laughs> Hypothetically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So intrusive would be, I want to pick up this muffin and throw it at the wall as hard as I can. <laughs> It's close. It's close. Intrusive would be more like, I want to throw this stale rock hard muffin at an innocent bystander walking on the street, preferably a child holding a balloon to see it topple over like a bowling pin while it watches the only thing that brought it joy that day float away into the abyss, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hypothetically. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment in a few hours, but I'd love to. Cool. Ooh, and after we can sneak in a lunch at that new restaurant that just opened. Ooh, yes. Are you going to have enough time, though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you want to go to the mall? Can't. I have an appointment. Oh, bummer. Is it soon? Five o'clock. It's 11 a.m. Exactly. You have six hours before your appointment. Yeah, I don't get what you're not understanding. You have a lot of time to do stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours and do nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, please, sit. What's wrong with you? I'm afraid I'm not privy to what you're talking about. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what, exactly? Like you consume tea and crumpets on gold plates served by people that cannot speak unless spoken to. <laughs> well, that's just silly. Nonsense, really. Nonsense? You sound insane! Quite the contrary. So do you think that you sound any different? Like you're speaking in a completely different accent? You don't think that? I believe this is what I am meant to sound like. And if you do not, I would be happy to let Robert escort you out that door. Have you been watching The Crown? It is a possibility, yes. So good, right? It's so good. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, that's a really good idea, Kelly. What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. Do you or do you not feel bonita? I feel bonita. Wonderful, because you look bonita. Actually, no, I don't want to go anymore. Oh, okay. Just kidding, see you in 10 minutes. Okay. Just kidding, we're not going. Pass, pass, pass. Smash. Like other girls, I like anime. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I would like to butter your biscuit. Can I have some milky? Hi, and welcome back to Disney Channel. My name's Hannah Silvana. My actual name is Smiley Cyrus, but I have a different name to remain anonymous and because I like milk. Why don't you come sit on daddy's lap? <laughs> what have you done? I found a hammer. Yes. It doesn't work very well. No. Oh. What, what's the point? Okay, all packed up, ready to go. Did you put Jessica in the car seat okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. A positive. Maybe I should sit back there with her. I just... No. All right, all packed up, ready to go. Yep. Yeah, oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Oh, we got the floaties, towels, beer. I think we're good. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Let's go. Christina's not in the car. What? Oh, shit.
You're the oldest. She's your responsibility. This is on you. All right, all packed up, ready to go. Let's hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back. Let's do it. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, my God. What was that? That was Jacob. What? You're okay. Walk it off. He doesn't walk yet, Kara. Still? You left him on top of the car. Hey, this is on you. Hello? So recently, Selena acquired chickens, and she named one after me. This one is Chris. And I, too, have acquired chickens, and I'm naming, I'm naming the black and white ones Selena. And the other ones, this is Berta. You are the this is Betty. It's a good day for singing a song. And she's got a little white on her. And this is Brenda. Brenda's a bitch. Let's go see if these birds laid any eggs. Let's see. We got eggs? Oh, damn! We got eggs. Mama's making eggs. Look, wow, oh, we got four. We eating good today, boy. We Selena. There you go. Ow. Shit. Okay. You're lucky I love you. There you go. There you go. Head move. Ow! <laughs> Selena! Oh! Oh shit! Oh, not all of them! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where did you guys go? I don't know how to get them back in. <laughs> Look at- Oh, Berta! Berta's like, how'd you guys get out there? Berta. Here. Come on up. Yep. You need to go back. No, this way. Berta, don't. Berta, this way. This way. Don't- Don't- No attitude, Brenda! This is how to hurt chickens 101. <laughs> Selena, oh, oh, what a good girl. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Bre <laughs> Brenda. Whoa! Whoa! Brenda, 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 Brenda! Brenda! <laughs> Brenda! <laughs> Jess is gonna try. Oh, yeah, teamwork, 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 race the dream work. Good job. Nice there job. you go. Oh, good. Oh, good. good oh, wait, no, that's Berta. That's not Brenda. Good job. Betty! Come on, Betty. Oh, good job, Betty. All right, Brenda. Let's go. Get your butt moving. Oh, gosh. Jessica's got Over that mom here. authority. Let's go. Yes, okay. Jessica. We got the chickens back in the cage. Until the point okay, that then, I'm not okay. done talking yet. You will speak when I'm done. Oh, oh honey. Girl, okay. security. Hello. What's up? Got really cool glasses. Thank you. They're pit vipers. I really want, I just want everything that's in your ring right now. You know this really cool thing that I have? Bye. Oh my god. Yeah, That's it's so me. Cool. I'm the real Kermit. You can have me. She's holding me hostage here. What? I got a lot of. <laughs> she just skipped me so fast. God, that's like being on Tinder. They just swipe left or right, whatever the bad one is. Right in front of your face. God damn. Oh, my ego. It's fine. I'm fine. Ooh, what's happening to you? Oh, she's hot. <laughs> Oh, your shit is funny. I won't even lie to you. Okay. Well, hey, I appreciate that, man. I'll right, play you a it. song really quick. That's it. No, that's great. That's amazing. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I won one. Something I want to say before. Oh, let's do it. All right, go. <laughs> this is us after our first drink. This is us after drink number two. This is this this is this is us after three, four, four drinks. I don't know. We're on drink number. I don't know. I think we're on five. It's not correct, right? I've had seven or eight drinks. I'm not sure. I'm in the toilet. Look at this toilet. I've had about eight drinks. <laughs> I said, hey, 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 tater tot. <laughs> We're <laughs> drinking about it. Hey, in your head. We have to say we have finished our last, last drink. drink. It's been too many drinks to talk about. <laughs> Cookies are amazing. Okay. <laughs> Everyone say night night. Is... Everyone say night night. Good night. <laughs> Oh making sure God. my bestie oh knows the tea, God. even though she's been kidnapped. Uh, we miss go. you, and we're looking for you. Yeah. And Steffi oh. P from biology is pregnant. Oh my God, yeah. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Is this real? But like, on the low key, I would do the same. I'd <laughs> just be like... We just want to say that, Stacy, we want you back here. We want you home. And 
Also, Tiffany made out with Brandon at Sean's party, and Valerie, his girlfriend, saw him making out with her, so she poured gasoline on his car and lit it on fire and then went to his mom's house and f***ed her. But anyway, you dirty bastard, you need to give her back because we kind of practiced the pyramid with her during practice, and the only other girl that can be at the bottom is Chris, and she looks like a door frame, and it's just not the same, so give Stacy back. Hey, loser, it's been a while. Hey, you look like shit, and you smell like shit. Ah! <laughs> Mom's losing it lately, eh? Oh, yeah, she's off a rocker. <gasps> it's f***ing crazy. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm back! Oh my god, I missed you! I missed you, too! You look so pretty! Come here! No, you do! Come here, I missed you! Gross. I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> you know... <laughs> you know when you order stuff online when you're really tired under the influence and you forget about what you ordered <laughs> i don't remember ordering this <laughs> you're like oh is it a jacket is it is it a little lamp or something nope nope it's uh it's uh it's a life-size cutout of bob <laughs> hey mom hey sweetie okay don't freak out but i got some tattoos what no <gasps> see they're small they're small they're just they're just little right they're cute right oh no honey like the kardashians say you never put a bumper sticker on a bentley well, i don't know if you've noticed this mom but i am not a bentley okay i am a mentally ill used up toyota corolla who abuses the speed limit and forgets to change her oil from time to time and has been in one too many accidents and has to put bumper stickers on it to distract from all the dents on the outside. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm just gonna go get another tattoo. No! Lloyd? That's right! It's me, your son, and it's Lloyd, Dad. No. L-L-O-Y-D. I named you. You ruined my life! How could I ruin your life? I wasn't even there! Hello. hi -o. Oh, Give me the phone! Hey. Hey, guess what I got us for girls night tonight? Wine? Vodka? N no, but, but that's part of it. I got us the VIP Nation package for the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. Oh, sick! Cool. Pass. Oh, what? You don't like them? Man, my stomach does not do well with spicy peppers. Spicy juice, but not spicy peppers. No, Katrina, it's a concert. Why would anybody eat chili peppers live? No, they're performing. Who would want to see that? Anyway, the package comes with a VIP entrance, a VIP lounge, and premium seats that we get to sit in. Hey, that sounds amazing. I'm in. And food and beverages of the alcoholic variety. I'm in. Woo! This is so much better than watching people eat chili peppers. Oh, isn't it sweet how our kids are playing together? Yeah, it's adorable. They're probably playing house together or something. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Your father and I have called this family meeting to tell you. You tell them. Emma's getting a divorce. What? No. I'm sorry, honey, but we've already decided. You must choose. Choose what? Who to live with full time or who to visit on the weekends. But what about Christmas? See? Look what you're doing to this family. Well, I wasn't the one to sleep with Stacy from HR. And after our son Mario disappeared. Emma made a mistake. This marriage was a mistake. Mama, Papa, it's a me, Mario. Does this mean we could double the presents? I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should get back with Doug? No, no, no. Okay, you're missing the point. Okay, Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the hottest model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, 
bacon soda, a six pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a whirlpool fridge. Oh my God. What I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see. I see. Okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge, what is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I was a lesbian, but I just can't wrap my head around the vagine. But I guess I did once when I came out with my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them. And you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? Get on your knees, baby girl. Mommy don't know, daddy's getting high. <laughs> At the party shop, <laughs> doing something on your heart. Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Oh, it's a nice cafe. There's no seats open though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ma'am, I see you're almost done your food. Are you almost done here? Can we borrow some of the chairs you're not using? No, I'm working and my bags are on the chairs, so. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm just gonna go up and order. Do you want a croissant? Yes, please. Okay, just wait here. We'll figure out where to sit later. Stop staring at me, you little creep. Get lost. Ow, you're hurting me. What the? What are you doing? No, oh. I don't want any candy, strange lady. No, no. It's okay. Stranger danger. Okay, okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, Riley. Oh, look at that. There's an empty table. <laughs> yeah, crazy. That worked out. Oh, and I had to order you a muffin because a guy in front of us got the last croissant. I'll be right back. It's so nice to finally get out and go to dinner without the kids. Ah, uh, agreed. Hello, welcome. How may I help you and your friend? Uh, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, do you have a reservation? No, I've never needed one here before. No. Well, we are completely full, so we cannot serve you. Then why do I see four empty tables right there? Those are reserved. For who? Other people. Oh, I do not see any other people here. <laughs> They're running late, I guess. All of them? Yes. Let me ask you this. Todd, do you like your fingers? Oh, no. I don't understand the question. Let me rephrase. Do you like your fingers being attached to the rest of your body? Are you implying that you would take off my fingers? No, I did not say that. Did I say that, Janet? She didn't say that. You said that. Uh, but now that we have that all sorted, you can sit us in one of those four tables that we both know nobody is coming to sit in tonight. And you can keep your pretty little fingers so you can go home to your extremely unsatisfied wife and actually put them to use for once. Deal? Right this way. You weren't actually gonna take his fingers, right? Of course not. Okay. Guess what, guys? I got my first tattoo. Oh, no way. Cool. Oh, this should be good. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Bah.
Sure. No, yeah. wait, wait, let me guess. Let me guess. What is the most basic white boy tattoo? Uh, a lion with a crown. No, no. A Roman numeral clock with an anchor in front of it. <laughs> yeah. No? <laughs> no, no, no. It's probably like barbed wire. <laughs> trees growing up his arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Tall trees. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Or an infinity sign. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's probably like a compass inside a rose. Ah, with a snake around it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Laugh it up. All right, because I tricked you. Okay, I haven't got a tattoo yet, but I'm going to get a tattoo, and I knew you guys would make fun of me for it, so now I know what not to get. So suck it! Jeez, what's his problem? <laughs> Hello, my little ravioli, my tortellini. Oh, hey, Ma. Hey, oh, Nona. It's almost noon, and you're still in your sweatpants. Riley? Can you tell your Nona it's a Sunday and we're having a movie day? Uh, Mom told me to tell you that it's Sunday. Can you tell your mother that I just watched an eight-part series on Netflix about how screens rot your brain? Nona told me to tell you she watched an eight-part series. You want to tell your Nona to repeat the sentence she just said and realize how backwards idiotic that just sounded? Mom told me to tell- Tell your mother we forced her to go outside, rain or shine, until the sun went down and look how she turned out. Nona said- You want to tell your Nona I got bullied every day by the neighbor kids because she stuck me outside and that's probably why I have trust issues and social anxiety and need to go to therapy on a daily basis? Tell your mother back in my day we didn't go to therapy. We did the healthy thing with our feelings. The three B's. Beat down, bury, and bottle. That, that doesn't seem healthy. Can you ask your Nona why she's even here? Tell her I'm here because I wanted to ask if you guys wanted to go to the movies with me. I, you tell your Nona. I... Well, that was rude. <sighs> hey, Mom, can I ask you a question? <sighs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here, too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fool's. It's May 5th. <laughs> yeah, cause you'd be expecting it on April 1st. So. Who put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, in a kilometer, get in the right lane. Perfect. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, we passed it two exits ago. What? Let me know when the exit's coming up. In 3.5 kilometers. Oh, okay, cool. 3.4. Okay. 3.3. I got it. 3.2. You don't have to- 3.1. Shut up! You might want to get in the right lane. Oh, is it coming up? Yeah. In about 30k. When's the next exit? Right here. Oh! Is the next exit coming up? Uh, I keep going a couple exits. Oh, is that what the map says? No, but it's fine. I got it. Okay, that's great. But what does the map say? It doesn't matter. We don't need it. I know where we're going. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I'm pulling over. <laughs> Shit. 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 My dog saved me. People say, oh, how can an animal make such a difference to your life? He puts a smile on my face when I don't feel like smiling at all. He's my best friend. He doesn't judge. He just loves. He's been there for me since day one. Okay, ready, Colby? Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby. And we're here to- Dude, that cat ball went off! What? 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 If there's a spirit here, Make a sound. <gasps> Dude, did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I farted. We've been told this is like the spookiest, most haunted place in the house. So, I'm check it out. Don't close the door, Colby. I won't. Don't, dude, dude, don't close dude. The door. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway through the video and. Buy the merch! Buy the merch! Buy the like merch. the video, buy the merch! Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! Thumbs up! Thumbs up. Okay, pose. That's hot. That's hot. We got Colby here doing the Estes method. Is there any spirits here that want to talk to me? Yes. 
What do you want to say? You're a little bitch. <laughs> hey guys! Hey. hey! I got a new outfit and I just, does it look okay? I'm not sure, like, I think it's cute though, right? Couldn't you decide on just one color? Girl, that face with that suit. Okay, um... You look great, Billy Blue Dean. <laughs> okay, okay, um... Oh, yeah, is this what you wear to slop the hogs with? <laughs> I'm gonna change. <laughs>